Very good evening, everyone. This is Rajendran here joining from Market Calls and welcome everyone to a webinar on automation or automating an intraday trading system. So in today's session, we're going to learn how to build a auto, uh, automating an intraday trading system very easily using AlgoMojo modules and uh, some of the modules, which some of the intraday modules, which I had built. So we're going to discuss about a very simple trading system, uh, which uh, we're going to build a very, very simple breakout system is what we're going to build over here. Let's go to AMI broker. So here is my AMI broker here. What I'm going to do is I'll go to file new formula. Maybe uh, we can, uh, can anybody say which, what kind of intraday trading system that we can think of automating it, we can convert into an intraday trading system. Maybe I'll try to pull up a uh, half trend. So maybe you might aware about half trend, right? Half trend is a kind of an, uh, a very simple trading system, which is quite popular in trading view, which I had reconverted into ME broker, one of my favorite trading system also these days. ME broker half trend, right? So you just search for ME broker half trend and you'll be landing in market calls. The strategy, it is more of a positional trading system, a very simple positional trading system, right? Very simple and positional trading system. So here is the strategy. I'll save the code. I'll save it and I'll apply. Now what I'll be getting here is like, I'll be getting a strategy, something like this. So I'll be having a half trend code. Primarily, let's say if you are using something in bank Nifty, one can consider using it on a 15 minute scale, 15 minute scale or five minute scale or 10 minute scale. So primarily it comes like, a, this is not half trend. I mean, this is not super trend. This is something uh, a half trend, very good in uh, managing the sideways price action. And it is also quite popular in trading view as well. I'm sure you guys, if you're already using trading view, you might be already familiar with what is a half trend is all about. And uh, yeah, I also given a brief note on that. So you can go and uh, read the notes over here, read the notes. Uh, read the back testing report and everything you can read over here. Now, this trading system is a pure positional trading system. Means when the buy signal happens, we will buy it. When the short signal happens, we'll be shorting it and we'll be carry forwarding the short as long as the signal is keep on running. And again, the buy short, buy short, buy short. It is kind of a stop and reverse trading system. Means always the system will be in trade. Now, the question here is how I can convert, let's say I assume that I want to trade the system on a five minute scale. So this is a system, I, uh, it is on a five minute scale. Now I want to control the number of signals which is generated in a day. I also want to have an uh, proper, uh, we can say like uh, proper intraday controls. So first thing is like, how do I know whether the trading system is having an intraday, whether this trading system is intraday trading system or positional trading system or not. Very simple, if you rightly go to the parameters, if you have any control of time, that is more of an intraday trading system. As of now, it doesn't have any control over time. That means it is going to generate signal only positionally. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove this dashboard over here. Because the dashboard, I'm going to use it to, I'm going to use from the module to control it. I'm also going to remove the other targets and all those stuff. I'm going to remove the signals and everything. So all these uh, cosmetics things, so all these are like cosmetic things. I'm going to remove it. All these target lines, signal, dashboard. So all these are additional cosmetics and some top dashboard, right? And uh, so all the other stuff, I had removed it. Now we have a plain vanilla, a simple half trend trading system is what I'm having right now. No dashboard, no top dashboard. There was top dashboard also was there. I removed that. No stop loss target kind of level because I'm going to add it. So if I right click and then I'll go to the parameters, I'll be seeing, I'll reset it. I'll be seeing an amplitude and deviation. So this amplitude and deviation is the control to change the values over here, right? It also uses a channel deviation, lesser the channel. Uh, uh, tighter the length uh, band of the channels it is if you don't want the channels you can always uh, hide it or if you want to show it 
now the thing here is i'm going to use the intraday modules for that if i want to convert the strategy this is a positional strategy i want to convert into a intraday trading system so i'll again go to market calls and i'm going to type market calls intraday module so you just type or you'll be landing on a simple intraday module version 2.0 with stop loss control, target controls, and dashboards, alerts, a lot more things are added in this component. It's a module, it means when it is a module, I can just copy it and then adding to my existing strategy. So if my strategy, so here is my strategy, here my strategy contains what? My strategy contains buy, sell, short, and cover, right? So buy, sell, short, and cover. If my strategy is already coded with buy and sell, short, and cover, any strategy which is coded with buy and sell, short, and cover, and also it is a more of a pure positional strategy. Then at the end of the code, so here is the end of the code. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the intraday module along with that. So I go to the intraday module, scroll it down, right? I'm going to copy this intraday module. And I'm just going to simply paste it over here. I'm not sure whether it's going to work or not, but I had tried with a lot, lot of modules tend to be working. Let, let's hope that it will be working here also. If not, we have to go and find the solution for that. I'll save it. There is a small verify syntax is there and click on the verify syntax. That means so far no errors. And uh, I'll also go back to my AMI broker dashboard from here, AMI broker charting system. Now we can see I'll be having controls over here. I'll right click, I'll go to parameters. Now I have a lot of controls. So one is the alert controls. I can have, have alerts. If I want arrow alerts, I can enable the arrow alerts. I have a label alerts. And I, if I want, I can have the label alerts. And I can also have a sound alerts, mail alerts, voice alert, pop-up alert, telegram alerts. Uh, recently, I also included Slack alerts as well, but Slack alerts somehow I haven't recently included over here. So telegram alerts are here. I can control the number of trades from here. So let's say uh, last Friday, right? Last Friday, if you look into that, the number of trades has been like one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six trades has been there. But whereas I want to control it only to very few number of trades, I can control it. So if I say I want six trades in a row, you will get six trades. If you say I want only two trades in a day, uh, probably the buy sell uh, is there. But however, what I want to hear is like, I want to remove that buy and chart because that's not part of the system at all. So I'll go back above the module. So which is this is not part of the system. This is again a cosmetic things. Yes, so now we can see that the trading system, I can control the number of signals which is generated for a day. So I can say I want uh, five or four signals to be generated in a day. It generates exactly four entry signals and four exit signals. One, two, and three, and four. The rest of the other signal, it, it will get ignored. And also I can control uh, via time. Let's say I want to trade only after 10 o'clock. I want to ignore any signals. So you see that the signal is getting generated before 10 o'clock. So I want to say like, I want to trade only after 10 o'clock. So any signal which is coming before 10 o'clock, just erase it. It automatically erases the entry and exit signal also. If entry gets erased, automatically exit also get erased. And it generates only signals after 10 o'clock only. And I can also say like, I want to exit, uh, I mean, I don't want to take fresh positions after two o'clock in the afternoon. So 14.00, I can exit entry signals also. I mean, entry signals after two o'clock, any entry signals are happening, I can ignore those signals also. And if any open positions are there, I want to close out the open position by 15.50, if at all any open positions are there. If before that itself exit is happening, let it exit, let it go away. But if any positions are still continuing, exit conditions are not happening, then this module will be giving me a total control on that. So now along with that, we can also have a stop loss and target module. So by default, if I want to keep a stop loss, I can enable it, click on that, it will get enabled. I can say what kind of stop loss I want. I want a point stop loss or a percentage stop loss or a volatility stop loss. So let's say I, I want to set the point stop loss as like for something like bank nifty. We may have to keep a, a slightly untitled stop loss. So in this case, I'm going to keep a stop loss like uh, stop loss. I'm, I'm going to take something like 200 point stop loss and then probably and 400, 500 points of targets. 
something like that i can keep or probably something like 150 points stops and uh, probably 300 points target. I, I can control the risk reward ratio over here again keep one is to two kind of risk reward ratio but ensure that whenever you are keeping a risk reward ratio it's an op a reasonable one so you know you know what is the average fluctuation of the bank nifty right on a daily basis from the high to the low it fluctuates how many points on average on average what do you think bank nifty will be fluctuating uh, from an entire perspective how do you know how do you write a simple code for that it's very simple you go to file new formula I write a simple formula over here, bring in charts, blank module, try to write an uh, range analysis. So we're going to write a simple, we're going to plot a simple range analysis. I want to plot the high minus low, comma, I'll call this a range, comma, I'm going to give a color like color yellow, I'm going to make it like style histogram, right? And I'm going to save this, I'm going to apply it, so I should be able to see Maybe not in this one. I'll open a new blank chart. Go to the charting section. I'll go to the price chart, drag and drop. And then uh, I'll go back and apply the charts over here. So I'll go to the daily time frame. So you see that uh, off late uh, on a daily basis, Nifty has been, Bank Nifty has been fluctuating like 400 to 600 points on average. On an average, Bank Nifty itself fluctuating 560 points only. So there is no point of keeping an intraday 500 points target. Because in a day itself, mostly you're going to get somewhere around 400 to 500 points, sometimes 600, 700, 800 points, even 1000 points also possible. But majority of the days, with the given volatility, what kind of range it is happening? Very simple, right? So 560 is the reasonable range. So that means you have to keep something like maybe uh, 200 points to 300 points should be the reasonable target you have to keep, right? So if at all any big price action, 200 to 300 points making from an intraday perspective should be a reasonable price action. So from that perspective, we can also control the stop loss and target as well. So that way you can control the stops and targets, control the number of trades. I'll make it like two in a day. So that will reduce the number of signals which is generating over a period of time. Then what else? So now it becomes a pure intraday trading system with stop loss control. But if you are worried about uh, having a fixed stop loss, you don't want to keep a fixed stop loss. One can always go with the volatility based stop loss. You know, volatility based stop loss is the ATR based trailing stop loss mechanism. Every bar, the stop loss and target changes. If the market is moving very slower, smaller stop loss, smaller target will be there. If the market is moving very violently, then the stop loss also going to be slightly bigger. Target is also slightly on the bigger side. One can measure the volatility multiplier. Based on the volatility multiplier, they can control the risk reward of the trading system. Right? But it generally keeps an ideal stop loss over here. You can control it automatically how you want. You can totally control the volatility multiplier or volatility length. You can control. Thereby, you can control the stop loss. So, the one thing is like the ATR based uh, volatility stop loss brings dynamic stop loss, dynamic target. Every time the stop loss and target will be keep on changing depends upon the market volatility conditions. And we also have a nice cool dashboard. So I can say like half trend intraday trading system, half trend intraday trading system. And it tracks it tracks the PNL over here. Whenever it's in uh, trade, it tracks the PNL. And whenever it's out of trade, it says no trade, relax, profit or loss is zero. That's what it says. And there are no open positions. So the beauty about intraday trading system is like uh, it is totally free from overnight gap up and overnight gap downs. That's why many traders they do portfolio based trading systems uh, instead of uh, trading in one symbol. Uh, they will try to tend to do with like five symbols or ten symbols. They, they take a basket of symbols and they try in order to reduce the risk, they primarily involve in uh, uh, basket of stocks. So they diversify the trading system with multiple uncorrelated trading instruments. So is there any possible to add trailing stop loss? I'm coming to that point. So this is one method of handling an intraday trading system. 
where we have one fixed stop loss and one fixed target. There is also one more module which I had designed. It's a multi-target stop loss module. Probably you might hear about that. If not, let me show you. I'll take the same half trend code first. I'll save the code here. Yeah, first I'll save this as I want to say like intraday trading system. Intraday trading system. Oops, already there's something is there. Maybe I'll give a name like building intraday system. So this is like half trend intraday trading system. Of course, we also have a range analysis as well. I'll also save this as well. End of day, I'll be uploading to the course section. You can uh, take it from there. So it's like range analysis. Just to get a check what kind of range from an intraday perspective that we are getting. And then we also have an intraday positional trading module. So this is also a module with a full-fledged trading system, but it is more of a positional strategy. So many traders, they, they have some strategy, but they want to convert into a positional strategy. It is slightly difficult though, that too with controls, alerts, everything if you want to add up. That is why I had launched these modules so that even a non-coder can easily go and convert these kind of modules. So I'll save this code. I want to say like building intraday trading system. So it's going to be a half trend positional system. Positional system completely backtestable. Even the intraday module also. What if you are adding this module, it's completely backtestable. Now we learned that the intraday trading system for half trend. Maybe I'll take one more trading strategy. It's called range filter. Range filter also very interesting strategy though. So maybe if you haven't aware about range strategy, range filter, range filter, market calls. So probably these are some of the new additions that we added every now and then every six months once, at least we add two or three strategies in our uh, market call section. Range filter, again, yet another trading view based popular strategy. This is what I'm gonna convert this into a pure intraday trading system with multiple targets, stop loss, and trailing stop loss as well. So at this point in time, the intraday module, the intraday version here, it is in 2.0 version. Here I haven't added any trailing stop loss. I'm working on that probably in a month or so, we'll be having an intraday module version 3.0, which will come with the uh, trailing stop loss kind of uh, references. So here is again range filter. So the range filter, I'm going to download this. It's a very interesting strategy. The positional strategy itself, a very interesting training strategy. You can go and check it out. I'm going to copy this code. I'm going to come to my ME broker. I'll go to file new analysis. I mean, I'll go to open a blank chart. And I'm going to remove the cosmetic things. So first I'll apply without any cosmetics. So I'll go to open a new blank chart. Apply over here. I think Jayesh Raval is having a question. Uh, maybe he's not able to hear the voice. So it's highly recommended to use a Chrome or Firefox browser if in case we are facing any audio issues, right? So it's highly recommended to stick with uh, Chrome and Firefox browser. All right, so this is with the range filter. So I'll save this strategy as a range filter over here. So building intraday trading system, range filter. any cosmetic things that I need to remove it. So dashboard, which I don't need it. So I'm just removing the dashboard block. I don't need it. And then we also are having a, some more dashboard. So what is this dashboard is all about? It's so a signal dashboard. The signal dashboard also, I'm just removing it out, right? What is, we are also having a uh, dashboard for the targets as well, target level signals. So all those signals also, these are standard things. Almost you can find in most of my codes. I'm doing those as well. So now if I save and then if I apply, the range filter strategy will contain only what? A pure uh, trading system without any buy sell signal. Now what I'm going to do is on top of this, I'm going to add a simple, what? A simple, uh, 
system is what I'm going to add. So I'm going to add a uh, multi-target module, multi-target market calls module. So you can find a stop loss multi-target and trailing stop loss module. It's again a drag and drop kind of module, very simple to add. If your strategy is already coded with buy, sell, short and cover. So if you have if you already rules are already done with that, now you want to convert this strategy. It's a positional strategy at this point in time. Now I want to convert this strategy into a, a strategy with the stop loss, multi-target, and then uh, telling stop loss module. It's very simple. All I have to do is what I have to just copy this module. But this module uh, doesn't have any intraday controls, but it has all the uh, target controls, stop loss controls, uh, rest all the controls are there. So I'm going to simply scroll it down. At the end, I'm going to simply add to the position. I'm going to save this as range filter with multi-target. So means I can have two targets over here. And then uh, stop loss. And the most important thing is like it also comes with a trailing stop loss also. Trailing SL. And if I now apply it, I'll be able to enjoy all those other controls. I'll be able to have all those controls. You can see that the top one is a plain vanilla, simple range filter without any entry and exit. I'll close this. Now this contains, now this code contains what? Entry, exits, multiple targets. So I can have multiple targets over here. You can see like, I can say, I can choose which symbol I want to trade. Probably let's say I want to trade in uh, which broker I want to trade. I can select, let's say I want to tra trade with angel broking, APA version. I have to set my APA key and APA secret key. So what I'll do is like, I'll go and set my APA key and APA secret key over here. So I'll go to my angel account, an.algamoji.com. I'll log in using my angel credentials. Then I'll go to my API section. I'll generate my APA for the very first time if I am opening it. If I already generated, it's fine. I can use the same APA key and APA secret key. Just copy this, right click, go to the parameters, scroll it down, set the API key, and also get the API secret key as well. Come back to ME Broker, place the secret key as well. Now you can uh, go and say, I want to trade in NFO, I want to trade in Nifty Future, maybe I want to trade in, let's say, Nifty 29 March Future, right? So March FUT. So 29 March 23 FUT. I want to trade in uh, intraday product. So MAS is what I'm selecting. Uh, if at all you want to trade larger orders, you have to select yes to split the orders into multiple quantities. If it is a small account, you can trade with the, you don't need to enable split, split orders at all. And uh, if in case if you need buttons, one can bring the button controls, enable the algo. Voice alert by default, it is enabled. And likewise, there is multiple target controls are there, like target one, how many quantities that you want to exit. Stop loss, what is the stop loss? What is the target? What is the target one, target two, all those levels? So these are levels, right? These are levels. Talking about quantity, let's say I want to trade some hundred quantity over here. Hundred quantity is what I want to trade. Out of that, when target one is hit, I want to exit half of that. So I'll say like 50. And target two, I want to exit the full quantity over here. And the signal delay, I don't need any delay. I'll keep it like zero. So it means when the signal happens, it'll be pushing those trades into that. If I keep signal delay as one, it will execute only uh, one bar later. So in my case, most of my strategies already, I would have handled internal delay. If I would have coded the strategies, it could have mostly involve zero delay only. And now this code is completely capable of automating it. Very simple. So if you already uh, automated with Algomojo, one can uh, directly run the bar replay and they can see that all are getting punched into the account. Let's say, for example, for timing, what I want to show, I want to show the simulation of February 23rd. So I'll go to 23rd over here. I'll go to window, log. I'm going to keep the logs ready. Trace, ensure that the trace is enabled, internal and external. Run the bar replay. 23rd of Feb is what I'm going to run. I'm going to simulate simply. So if at all any signals are coming in, automatically it throws an order over there. And 
and it is a positional strategy as well. Order place, order place. So if the target hits automatically, the trade would have been come to an end. And the same thing we can go and witness over here. So if I go to the order log section, I'll be able to witness the what are the orders which is coming. We can able to see that. And the order log section, I'll be able to order see place. or any orders, any order fresh place. orders which are coming in, I'll be able to see those things. So here you can see that it entered. There's also a partial target has been hit. And then now complete exit will happen if at all the target is so this is like target one is hit in the same bar. So in that case, means what I, I could have entered 100 quantity over here. So this could have been entered 100 buying quantity and uh, this is a partial exit signal. Uh, so it will try to sell 50 quantity and the final one will try to sell the remainder of the 50 quantity over here. So maybe I'll stop it and I'll show you. Okay, run that. Now all these logs will be detailedly captured over here in the log section. Order place. So you'll also get an uh, side by side. You'll also get an alert as well simultaneously. Now, the question here is one thing you need to understand here is all these modules off late, we've been uh, switching to something called a place smart order module. How many of you are aware about that place smart order module? How many of you can hear about it? Okay, let me tell you what a uh, smart order module is all about. So there is an uh, article also I written about it. For the people who want to refer, I'll also share the link as well. Play Smart Order, Algomojo. So there's a brief article about it, which I written in Algomojo blog. I'll tell you what uh, the thing it does with the regular uh, trading session, regular uh, order. So regular order is called as a place order. If I am gonna place the order, place the order, Let's say I'm going to buy 100 quantity. It will buy. No intelligence. If I'm asking to sell 100 quantity, it will simply sell. It will simply sell. But in play smart order, it is a little bit complicated. Like it's not like that. Play smart order. If I ask to buy 100 quantity, it also asks one more parameter positions position if i say position is also 100 now i'll tell you what it will do it checks the open position if the open position is let's say if, if my open position is uh, 50 quantity or let's say zero quantity there is no quantity at all now i'm getting a buy signal what will happen is like it will try to match my open position if there, if there is no positions over here it will try to punch the quantity it will try to punch the quantity so now new open position will be it will try to buy 100 quantity buy 100 quantity but if it checks the open position my open position is already plus 50 so my open position is not zero listen carefully my open position is not zero I'm instructing to buy 100 and also position equal to 100. So it will try to match the open position. So what will happen? It will try to buy only 50 quantity plus 50. Because my open position is 50, I want to make it as plus 100. I want to make it as plus 100. So another 50 quantity will get added with the existing position. Now my new open position will be, new open position will be minus 50. Sorry. Uh, plus 100 because 
I added another 50 to that. If I want to add another 50, what I have to do? I'm already having plus 100. Now I want to send another 50 to that. What I have to do? In that case, what I will do is like, I will again call same thing. I will add 50 to, uh, I'll, I'll make it like 150. So if I make it like 150, it will get matched to that. It will get matched to that. So means uh, it doesn't bother about the quantity because my open position, my current open position, my current open position is how much? 100. So quantity is more than zero. Quantity is more than zero or less than zero. doesn't matter. It doesn't bother about the quantity at all. Quantity is ignored. Position will be matched. So 100 and 150, the difference is 50 quantity. So it will try to buy 50 quantity over here. 50 plus 50 will be added again. And my new open position will be, question will be how much? 150. So whatever the position instruction I'm giving, it will be matched over here. So why this is important is like play smart order brings intelligence. So what kind of intelligence if you can ask me? Let's say I want to square off all my open position. I'm having now 150 quantity. I want to bring it down to zero. In that case, what I'll say, I just simply say, it doesn't matter. I just want to sell quantity doesn't matter, but my open position is what matter. My position, I will say like, I want to bring it to zero. This will do what? This will try to match my open position. What is my current open position? My current open position is plus 150. Now I want to bring it down to zero. So the difference is 150. So I will sell 150 over here. Now my new open position will be how much? Zero. Means my open position will get squared off. You don't need to know about what is the quantity it is there. Even if there is a thousand quantity also it gets squared off. Even 5,000 position if it is also there, if you are able to split out the module, you square off all your open positions. Provided you send this instruction position equal to zero. That is what the smart order does. So sometimes what will happen is like, we'll be having a long shot trading system. Always it doubles the position, right? Long shot trading system. In a long shot trading system, buy will be having a buy rule. Sell will be having a sell rule. Short is nothing but a sell rule itself, sell itself and cover is nothing but a buy itself. So this is what we call as a long shot module. So half trend, alpha trend, range filter, super trend. By nature, all these are positionally long shot trading system. It means always trading system will be in the position. So if you want to trade this long shot position, right? So whenever buy signal happens, means whenever the buy signal happens over here, I'll go to the range filter. I'll show you the charts. I'll click on here. You can see that simultaneously two things are happening over here. One is buy is happening and old short is also getting close at the same location. So if I'm trading for the first time, I will get a two signals I'll be getting over. Here. It's not just buy signal. Buy also getting and cover also I'll be getting over. Here. Buy signal and cover signal. So buy, I have to buy, let's say I want to trade 100 quantity. Buy also, I have to buy 100 quantity. For cover also, I have to close my existing position of another 100 quantity. But the problem here is, I don't need to cover it. This is my first trade. For If it is a first trade, I don't have any open position in my account. What I have to do? I have to punch only one time of the quantity. So that is where the smart order comes into the picture. It intelligently senses the open position checks that open position is zero. So I'll be sending what in smart in play smart order. I'll be sending two parameters. Let's say buy. I'll be sending the quantity, 100 quantity. And the problem is a buy signal. Then I'll send the position size will be like position will be plus 100. Now what will happen to my open position? My current open position is current open position is zero. So my new open position, if my current open position is zero, then buy quantity will get executed. Directly buy will be getting executed. So plus, it becomes plus 100. But if the short signal is happening, first time if it is happening, first time, 
what it will do? First time when buy signal is happening, it will buy 100 quantity. It will buy 100 quantity. Because buy is also happening, cover is also happening. Now, second signal, I am already having an open position of 100. Now, I am getting a short signal. A short signal is happening. Now, what I have to do? Again, I will simply call the play smart order. I call the play smart order. I will send a sell position. Sell, I will be sending 100 quantity. 100 quantity. I also send a uh, position. I want to reverse the position to minus 100. That's what I will simply send. My current open position is how much? My current open position is plus 100. We know that that is what it happened in the previous signal. My new open position will be, what will be the new open position? Minus 100. Straight away it comes to minus 100. How? Algumojo takes care of all those intelligence. That is where the position, the, ultimately what will happen? The position, whatever that we are doing over here, it will get matched over here. Because my current position is more than zero, quantity will be ignored and positions will be taken. That is how the smartness is there. So here what will happen? My plus 100 will become minus 100 over here. My new open position will be minus 100. Again, buy and cover is happening. What will happen? My new open position will be switched to plus 100. Again, minus 100 over here minus 100 and plus 100. Now you can ask me what is the advantage of this place motor? One is intelligence. Let's say I haven't taken my, I missed the entry. I'm having a long trade. Imagine that I'm having a long trade. Okay, I'll go and explain. I'll go back to the dashboard. I'm having a long entry and long exit. Long entry. Long entry, I supposed to take 100 quantity. 100 quantity. Somehow I missed, maybe I, I got late to the market, I missed it. Now I'm getting a long exit. I want to exit my open position. I want to square off my open position. But there is no open position is there. So if there is no open position, means what? I have to sell 100 quantity, right? I have to sell 100 quantity if it's a long exit. If I already bought 100 quantity, I have to sell minus 100 quantity. But uh, the problem is like I missed this 100 quantity. So if the sell signal happens, I don't want to sell 100 quantity actually because there is no open position. What smart order does is like it will try to sell by looking into the open position. It, it looks into the open position, open position is zero. It also try to bring the position to position to zero. So it says like there is no open position found. So we are ignoring the trade. That's what it says. It intelligently ignores the trade. If the entry is missed, exit will also skip intelligently. Because it looks into the actual open positions in your uh, broker positions and then it intelligently takes a decision. That's what the play smart order do. Almost most of our strategies, right? It involves play smart order. Almost every order, even the one which, which are the module which I showed you, all those module involves play smart order. And not only that, you can uh, find all the orders, whatever the orders that we are implementing from here onwards, we will be implementing, we're gonna implement more and more modules. Play smart order is the first step. We are also working on uh, limit order execution modules with auto modification and auto cancellation kind of features. I already given inputs to my team and my team has already started working towards that, which will be intelligently places the limit order. It auto cancels the limit order. It auto modifies the limit order. All you have to do is you have to call the modules. So where you can find the modules, if you ask me, if you go to algamojo.com, a lot of execution modules you can find under the AM library section. So AM library section, which contains module. So most of them are intelligent modules. So only the starting module is not an intelligent one. Rest everything. Entry, there is no intelligence. Entry doesn't, intelligence is not required. If I want to buy means I just simply want to buy. Only if it's a buy and cover, short and sell, or if I'm going to sell or cover, 
whenever a signal which is come accompanied by a exit signal intelligence is required i need to look into my open position and then i have to place the orders and only if it is only by signal only short signal there is no intelligence is required so only the starting module no intelligence is required what are the instructions ami broker is sending it will be blindly punching it is asking to buy 100 quantity it will buy 100 quantity if it is asking to sell 100 quantity it will sell 100 quantity no questions asked but that is not the reality reality is like we need smart order modules so that is where the smart order trading module comes even the button trading module entry is not no intelligence is required for exit an intelligence is required for example i'll show you right now i don't have any open positions if i don't have an open position so here if i try to punch let's say i am punching b it will try to punch 100 quantity over here you can see that the quantity 100 is getting punched and it also sends a position variable over here it also sends a but there, there is no intelligence is there so it is not sending any open position but if i am trying to exit bx order place i am trying to send a smart order module so but internally currently i don't have any open position if i don't have an open position you can see that it sends two parameters one is it sends the quantity it also sends the position size it is asking to square off the bx means i am trying to square off my open position but there is no open position so intelligently it says like uh, no open position found so enter quantity greater than 0 or place an order so that means what the trade is ignored simply simply it gets ignored i'll go to ignore those orders because you don't have any open position and of course there is also a single one shot square off button is there this will square off all your open position except the bracket order and cover order any open position is there it automatically gets square off Right, so if there is no open position uh, is there, it simply says no open position found. But if any open positions are there, it completely square off all the open position. The only limitation is bracket order and cover order will not be squared off at this point in time. We are also in the next phase. We are also implementing those uh, exiting the bracket order, cover order completely as well. But off late, the usage of uh, bracket order and cover order by the traders came down because exchange uh, reduces the leverage. Slowly, people started using regular order itself. The only advantage with the bracket order and cover order is that it comes with the stop loss along with that stop loss and trailing stop loss kind of mechanism. Is it applicable to all the markets? If you ask me, of course, yes. One shot square off. If any open positions are there in MCX, commodities, currencies, equities, doesn't matter. Of course, it doesn't touch, touch, touch your demand holdings. Demand holdings will not be considered as open position. Any open position is there, it will be closed. It doesn't matter. Irrespective of the scripts, irrespective of the positions, it will get closed. So, uh, can we trade options? That is what the question from uh, Satyanathan. In order to answer this, there is a module here. So, maybe I'll show you the module. So some of the modules, if in case, if you want to trade, uh, signals are coming in uh, future charts or spot chart, but you want to trade in options, here is a module there. If you want to trade, uh, uh, let's say call, uh, signals are coming in futures, but still you want to trade something like credit spreads, you want to trade our debit spreads, straddle, strangle, synthetic futures, diagonal spreads, calendar spreads, or ratio spread, or ratio back spread. You want to execute multi-leg orders. In that case, you can consider using the two-legged options model. In fact, you can even trade synthetic futures. Synthetic futures means it'll instead of trading futures, if you trade synthetic futures, your brokerage costing, the overall transaction cost will come down. One third of the transaction cost because futures are quite heavy in terms of uh, the transaction cost. Whereas the spot and future signals, Transaction cost is very, very less. So it, your brokerage cost reduces a little bit. Even if your brokerage is free, right? So with some brokers, there are brokers who provide free brokerages also. Still, transaction costs won't have to pay. But if you, instead of trading in futures, you mimic the same futures using the two-legged options module. Your tra total transaction cost further comes. At least half of your cost you can reduce abruptly.
So do we have to learn about AMI broker? Yes, of course, uh, one have to learn about AMI broker. There are no shortcuts. It's very simple only. It's a very simple tool to learn. Hardly you can find a lot of YouTube videos uh, in market calls. If you go and search for about market calls, uh, AMI broker. So go to market calls, go to the playlist there. There you can find uh, AMI broker section. So almost so far about AMI broker I had closely published how many videos? So where is AMI broker? Here, almost some 44 basic videos I had published. All these are very simple basic videos. It will help you to understand AMI broker right from the scratch. So let me also take some more questions here. Sashi Sinha is asking, is it available in TradingView? Of course, yes. Under TradingView, you can, if you want to find TradingView modules, you can go to TradingView modules over here. You can find uh, some of the modules. So these are some of the basic modules. Uh, single leg, multi-leg options module are already there, right? This is like single leg module, and this is going to be the multi-leg module, but this is for TradingView. If you're an AMI broker user, you have to pay attention to that. All these modules are like, it's called module, means this module I can add to my existing strategy. Strategy can be anything. I can build only strategies, connect this module. How you want to execute the module will uh, have a clear cut information on that. So if you want to use futures or simply options, you want to trade option charts and you want to use option symbols, then smart order trading. If it is future charts and you want to trade in futures, then uh, smart order trading will be helpful. Portfolio module is for the traders who want to scan multiple symbols, 50 symbols, 100 symbols, they want to scan and then they want to punch orders based on the portfolio module. Button trading is for like traders who are who don't want to adopt any buy sell signal, but uh, they want to see the AMI broker charts. But now there's a buy or sell signal is happening. They want to trade in a single account. They use button trading module. And this is a little bit an enhanced one for the people who are using AMI broker 6.2 onwards the button modern button trading module comes into the picture this is for the traders who are going to use future charts or spot charts but execution is going to be in options same thing as I, as I said it is possible in trading view also multi-leg also it is possible in ami broker as well as in trading view time-based execution they can set a time exactly at that time they want to punch an order they can they have to go for a time-based execution module equity intraday module uh, it's mostly a portfolio trading, for, particularly for the equity intraday players. Credit spreads, if you want to trade, if you want to reduce your drawdown, if you want to reduce your risk, at the same time, slow and steady returns. If you want credit spread module, will be very much helpful, particularly for a trend following system. Intraday straddle module, so people who want to trade intraday 920 straddles, they can consider using the intraday trading module. Line trading module, they can draw a line, touch of a line, they want to consider that line as a stop loss or that line as a target. So those kind of play, people can use line trading modules. Multi-client button trading module. Let's say I'm having three accounts of my own account with different brokers or the same brokers. Then with the click of a button, I want to transmit different quantity to different accounts. That is possible with the multi-client button trading. With the click of a button, you can transmit orders. In one shot, you'll be able to send orders to multiple brokers. Multiple brokers are the same brokers multiple accounts, multiple brokers, multiple accounts. Either way, it handles it. The code is same, but different different broker, you can configure it. Then we have a smart order module for multiple clients. So this is like I'm having my account, my wife account, and my mom's account. One AMI broker signal, three different accounts, three different funds. So I want to handle that fund, and then I want to transmit orders to multiple orders, I mean, multiple accounts. Signal comes in AMI broker, but execution goes to different brokers. Same broker, different accounts, or multiple brokers, or different different accounts. That is either way, uh, the just copy and paste it into the, your existing code. The code will be taking care of all the smart decisions. And button trading for the people who want to trade uh, options, larger option order, that they want to punch orders in at the money, in the money, or out of money. They want to square it off equally then these kind of models will be helpful, particularly for the expiry traders. Expiry traders who want to deal with larger quantities who don't have the patience to punch larger orders. So with the click of a button, they can send even 10,000 quantity also you can send. 
100 lots, 1000 lots, doesn't matter. You can seamlessly send using this module. So likewise, uh, we've been routinely going through the traders requirement and we've been, I mean, we've been converting into modules. All right, so that's what a module is all about. Maybe let me take some more questions. Which platform is better, AMI broker or trading? This is a question from uh, Sashi Singha. To answer this question, uh, I think AMI broker is better and faster. Trading view, it is a bit slower because it is on the, uh, it's completely hosted by trading view. Alerts are like maybe it will take one second to reach the broker account. Whereas in AMI broker, it will be like within 100 milliseconds, you'll be able to reach the broker server also. The return, you'll be able to get that response also. So AMI broker is, in terms of sending orders, I think uh, AMI broker is faster. In terms of additional features like optimization, work forward testing, which we spoken in the last week, a trading view is still it's lagging those kind of uh, blocks. Ami Broker has that, and Ami Broker has one of the fastest backtesting engine in the world. So Ami Broker is the fastest. Uh, Ami Broker, you have to maintain the data, right? So uh, let's say ten years of data, eleven years of data, you have to maintain. Whereas in trading view, there is a limited data set. Hardly, if you are a pro user, you may get only up to uh, something like some four years of data. Maybe if you are a free user, the data will be even limited. I think you will be getting only two years of data only. And if you are a premium user, maybe you may go, you may go up to like four or five years of data. Whereas in Amibuka, there is no limitation. If Even if you are having 10 years of data, all the data will be sitting in your, in your system. You own the data, you own the trading system. Everything will be under your control. You can put in your, you can run in your own environment, you can run in a faster server, or you can run in a slow server, or you can run in a medium server. But if it is trading you, you have to run in the trading view environment only. That's a drawback. But a lot of comfortness is there in trading view. Means uh, whatever the strategy I'm preparing in Ami Broker, I can prepare the same strategy in trading view also. So trading view is mostly for beginners who want to run one or two, three strategies or five strategies. But Ami Broker is for the traders who want to deploy some serious money and then they want to trade on that. But both are reliable, highly reliable platform. But trading view gives a lot of comfortness. You can switch on, switch off. You don't need any additional machines to run that. But whereas Ami Broker, you can run only in Windows machine. Even if you are using Apple, Mac or something like that, you have to use uh, some sort of parallels to install Windows inside Mac. Then only you can install Ami Broker. Uh, there, is, there are no shortcuts for the Linux user or if you're a Mac user. Uh, you have to use uh, Windows. Inside Windows only, you can use Ami Broker. That, that's another uh, drawback. But trading view is not like that. You can run in any devices. Any, it, can, it can be from tablet or it can be from uh, mobiles. So that is a comfortness which I like the most. And the best part of the Ami Broker is like, uh, Ami Broker also have uh, a very big community. Trading View has one of the world biggest community, right? So very in a very short span of time, Trading View comes up with a very big community, a lot of interesting indicators, strategies, a lot of things are kept open source over there. So that way, it's up to the traders wish whom they want to go with that. If you're a beginner level trader, yes, Trading View is helpful. But in the long term, if you want to build a career, definitely Ami Broker is also a wise choice. So Sati Silan is asking any limitation in running Ami Broker in Google Cloud or AWS? Absolutely no limitation. You can use it in uh, any kind of uh, Windows server. Rakesh Yadav is asking, uh, is the smart money, uh, I mean, play smart or module takes in terms of money allocated. Of course, it doesn't talk about money. It only talks about the open position. Play smart order matches the open position whenever the position is positive. If the position is zero, it will try to take the uh, quantity instead of positions, right? That's what, that's how the play smart order works. Uh, only thing is like, it will simplify the complex procedure. So you don't, other uh, platforms, they don't look into the smartness. If you sell, if you send sell, it will sell. If you send buy, it will buy. But end of the day, a smartness is very much required for a seamless automated execution. Otherwise, you will be facing a lot of issues with automation. <laughs> we faced it initially. That is why we started implementing that smart order feature. So there is one question from Arvind. Arvind says, please reply. So what is the question from Arvind?
I'm just looking into Arvind's question. Arvind, if you could type your question, I'm sorry, it looks like I missed your question. Please reply, is it possible in Algamojo? What is possible in Algamojo? If you have any uh, for one minute, five minute, 15 minute time frame, chargeable intraday options trading in Nifty fully automatic trading system or buying script to trade through Algamojo with Finvasia broker. So first of all, Finvasia broker, we have uh, under pipeline. So most likely by March, we will be onboarding Finvasia. That's what the expect expectation is. So we have a lot of pressure from the traders to onboard Finvasia and Kotak uh, uh, and also Dun. So these are the three brokers we are having in pipeline. So most likely we'll be uh, we'll be giving more importance to Finvasia and then Kotak uh, um, to onboard as early as possible. All right, so uh, there are a lot of questions over here. Uh, maybe I'll try to look. <laughs> Amit Gandhi is asking, bracket order, is it available for Nifty and Bank Nifty options? See, not every broker is supporting. A broker like Alice Blue, Zero Da, uh, and a few more brokers. Most of the brokers, they're not supporting. Very few brokers are supporting. So you have to check your broker first, whether they support or not. If the broker supports, Algomojo also supports. It's more of a broker level limitation. When it comes to bracket order and cover order. And some brokers, they don't even have bracket order. They don't want to have because their customers, they stopped using bracket orders long back. All right. So maybe we'll take one more question. Samir is saying Algamojo. So Algamojo is a set of programs that we are using the AMI broker as a platform to push it. Uh, Samir, first of all, Algomojo is a DIY platform. Means Algomojo, you come up with your own trading strategy. If you find a strategy from the internet or you ask somebody else to code or you yourself sit and code. Right? So you own the strategy basically. Your strategy runs in your own environment. It could be running in your desktop or it could be running in your server. So you own the environment. You own the strategy. So everything is under your control. You know what is happening in your AMI broker. Whether the order is sent or not, you get to know about it. So the Algomojo is more of a medium. It will simplify your automation process. We, have, we provide a lot of automated trading modules, which will simplify your automation process. For example, you want to send a larger order, Algomojo has a module for that. You want to send a smart order module, you, Algomojo has a module for that. You readily attach to your strategy. And uh, you go live with Algomojo. That's how it is. So Algomojo is more of a highway, which connects multiple roads, right? Whichever the road you want to choose, you can choose. But you always end up in a highway. Your journey will uh, get a little bit faster and smoother. That's what the end expectation is. So how to run multiple strategy at the same time in ME Broker? Of course, you can run it in multiple tabs. You can run uh, different, different tabs, different, different strategy that you can run or different, different tabs. You can run different explorations. That way, there is no limitation on the number of strategies that you can run in, uh, run using uh, ME Broker. Murgesh is asking, do you have any Renko-based strategy? First of all, I'm not a big fan of Renko. So I don't use any Renko-based strategies. So it's, it depends upon uh, trader to trader, it changes. I'm not a big fan of Renko. So I don't have any Renko-based strategies. Sham Krishna is asking in upcoming webinars, is it possible to explain something like about multi time frame analysis or trading? Sure, definitely, Sham, we'll take your request. Maybe in our next session, uh, we'll consider uh, having a session on multi time frame analysis or trading. All right. Amit Gandhi is asking Angel One supports. Of course, all the brokers support uh, all kinds of facility. But only the bracket order facility, I think it is uh, supported by Angel and a few more brokers. Fires, I think, maybe. So there is a one interesting question from Satya Silan. When multiple strategies running at the same symbol, how the smart order works? See, as of now, smart order is mostly for a single order execution, single strategy execution on the same symbol. 
if you are having one symbol then uh, you can run play smart order only for uh, only, only for that particular symbol alone if in case if you are having a multiple symbol then uh, one have to consider using a non smart orders only and uh, because since they are having multiple strategies running on a multiple uh, system right they have to make sure that they are not in using smart orders that's a strong recommendation if i am running only nifty strategy if i am going to run only bank nifty strategy then play smart order is highly recommended if you are running five strategies all the strategies are going to run in nifty future itself then smart order is not the right choice because it's going to match the position so right now uh, that is what we recommend everyone to use a non smart order if you are going to use a multiple strategies on the same symbol however you have only one strategy half trend or range filter or super trend so something like that you want to run only in nifty or only in bank nifty then there are no uh, restriction you can go and use it directly you can directly use the play smart order all right so anyways let me pass here and then uh, we'll come back in the next week and then we'll talk more about it. thank you